we're going to solve an equation now that has a square root term in it. That equation is x minus 8 times the square root of x plus 7 equals 0. Now, although this is not a quadratic equation, if we make an appropriate substitution, we can solve it by solving a quadratic equation first. How can you tell if you can use a substitution like this? Well, if you see that you have a term with, in this case, square root of x, and you think of that squared is x, and there's a term with that in it, like there is here, then if I let u equal the square root of x, and u squared equal the square of the square root of x, which is x, I would end up with a u squared and a u term. It would look like this. x is u squared, and then square root of x is u. Now, by making that substitution, I now have a quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation factors. It's u minus 7 times u minus 1 equals 0. So u minus 7 equals 0, or u minus 1 equals 0. So u equals 7, or u equals 1. This is a very slick technique for solving equations, but don't forget we weren't looking for u, we were looking for x. So once you've found this, you have to now solve for x. We do that by substituting back what we, what we, in the reverse direction of the substitution we did here. If u is the square root of 7, then the square root, of, I mean if u is 7, excuse me, then the square root of x has to be 7. If u is 1, then the square root of x has to be 1. And now we can solve for x. We square both sides here and we have x equals 49. Or, square both sides here, we have x equals 1. We check these numbers, 1 and 49, back in the original equation and find that both check. And so we say the solutions are 1 and 49.